my motivation for a flight like that. I don't know. I, I think I just have to fly, and and then you know you think what is still open, where you can prove yourself, where you can prove your aircraft, where you can see something new. I, I felt that, yes, long distance flight is something that I like. I mean, I, I really like to cover great distances and, uh, and Shark offers the, uh, the possibility to do it. One thing is to have good aircraft and to, to know that you can fly as many hours, but uh, the other thing is whether you can handle it, whether your body will handle it. And of course, we don't know. I mean, no one knows what, how much is his or her body can handle. So the flight planning, of course, is, is um, sort of um, uh, controlled or governed by the, by the conditions, by the, by the rules set by uh, the, the, the Federation, the International Federation. Um, I think um, <laughs> the first difficult problem for me was to understand these rules <laughs> because I just read it and you read it and okay, the, the, the one leg has to be maximum 25% of the total and minimum of 15% and then, and then the angle between the first and second leg or third or fourth leg must be uh, maximum 135 degrees and, and, and things like that. So, it just takes time, at least for me, maybe someone is faster, but uh, it took me some time to really understand <laughs> what I'm, I'm supposed to do. So it took me, I must say, I don't know, two, three days or I don't know, 10, ten hours maybe of, of just uh, planning and finding the right, the, the right, uh, like the right shape of, uh, of, the, of the circle or, or like just of the pattern. And, uh, and then when, when, when this was designed, of course, then um, I planned 2,000, I think, 64 kilometers. But then you realize, okay, we are heavier and we cannot take all that fuel. So then I had to have another, like an alternate, alternate uh, pattern that would be shorter. And we would decide, so I planned to decide during the flight uh, dependent on the weather because then of, of course if you had headwind then you are taking more fuel etc so I decided that we would make the final uh, decision about which one uh, fly uh, somewhere before the uh, turning point number three and um, and then actually this is where in the end we decided that yes we will make the the shorter one because we were facing headwinds of uh, of some 30 kilometers per hour over Poland. By origins, I'm a glider pilot, so I like, you know, when easy, easy, easy maneuvering. Uh, I mean, a, a, an aircraft that you can easily maneuver, which is, uh, you know, flexible and, and, and so on. And, so for some time I was uh, checking, looking for aircraft, uh, you know, what, what should be the next one. And well, then I just came up with, uh, with Shark. I think what helped me make the decision also was the uh, readiness of the, uh, of the director of Shark, uh, Vlado and, and uh, other people, the distributor and so on, who provided, who, who offered to provide support for me because uh, okay, I can finance everything myself, but I need support. I need uh, assistance, and this is this is what they offered. And 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 I must say that was the last that was the last uh, like uh, item which uh, uh, which decided about my buying buying shark, shark. So one thing was the support. The other thing was okay distance. I, as I said before. Uh, distance uh, is something that okay I love uh, uh, long flights and this is you know I mean I only fly internationally basically I don't fly anymore just within Czech Republic so that's something and then uh, speed of course you need speed 
and then Shark is one of the fastest aircraft uh, in, in, in the world in, in this category. So, okay, you can fly up to 300 kilometers. Um, so that's exactly what I needed. Um, what I like about it is that it's so ergonomic. You know, I am, if, if you don't have a good seat after two, three hours, I mean, everybody, everyone knows it, then you get, the, you know, pain in, in your, in your backbone or in, in the, in the, um, yeah, somewhere, wherever, <laughs> 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 wherever we have our, our, our sensitivities. And, uh, um, if you come out from, from that seat, I would just, you know, give gold medal to, to the designer of the seat. I don't know who that is, but, uh, it's really great. I just come out, no problem. After the first turning point, yeah, okay, the weather was got a bit worse in, in, in Germany, so you know, visibility and all that. And so from time to time, I was thinking, oh, maybe we won't finish it, uh, you know, because it, it was bad. So we were flying into the wind, as I said, I think earlier, about 30 kilometers per hour. Uh, so you're starting having doubts whether, yeah, whether you can handle it, I mean, the aircraft. and. Then uh, the, the, the other shark, the Polish shark joined us and that, okay, then we were at least distracted because we were communicating with them. They were sending us pictures and, and, and so on. So that was very good actually. I, I must say this, this guy whom I have never seen in person, Mark, uh, helped us a lot to overcome this sort of yeah, pressure, mental pressure. You, you start losing, <laughs> you know, your uh, confidence that yes, you can, you can handle it. And I was really thinking, well, shall we make it really? And shall we turn earlier? And, and, and then, but then you know that if you turn too early, then, then the, the length of the, of the leg wouldn't be enough and so on. And you cannot always recalculate everything during the flight. But uh, okay, in the end we made it. And in Slovakia, the weather started absolutely splendid, blue sky, sunshine, everything. And when we came here to uh, back to, uh, to, to Příbram, uh, the weather was perfect. And we were here expected by, by, um, by a group of about 40, 50 people, which, which was fantastic. We made a, a low pass here just to impress everyone, right? And um, yeah, so then, then came the champagne on, on the cockpit and then, you know, congratulations. I always feel a bit shy with, if someone congratulates me because I, I, okay, I did something that I loved doing. So we finished on, the, on a very positive note.